Ashley Burton is this latest pretty cold. Harry Mead and Tina Cook, two of Britain's top riders and two of the best cross country riders in the world. Tell me, why is Badminton, starting with you, Harry, why is it such an incredible event that everyone wants to win? It's the most famous event, it's got the history behind it. Um, you get huge crowds here, over 100,000 people coming here to watch today uh, live at the event. And also, really, the main reason is this course is absolutely massive. It's, um, it's huge, it's very imposing, and it's something which we all grow up um, desperately wanting to ride, ride around on the old owns. It's, it's a brilliant opportunity when you do get to do that. You've both been around this course several, well, many, many times. Um, does it get easier? How does it ride the more you do it? Well, not really. Unfortunately, the more times you do it, the more times you realise how wrong it can go. But the thrill when it does go right is unbelievable. The crowds are there behind you, cheering you on. But I have unfortunately fallen off in this lake before, and the water is very cold, so I try not to do it. And you're riding a horse, Tina, that you've bred yourself. Yeah, I'm so proud. You know, I eventually his mother to top level, and this was her first foal. So he's really exciting, and hopefully a horse that we maybe be good enough for Rio. Now, I don't, I don't really want to remind you of the dangers of the sport, but Harry, you're someone who knows better than most just how difficult it is riding cross-country. You had a horrendous fall, didn't you, last August? We've got a photo of you, I think, with your, with your elbows in traction. I, I was um, the horse chested the fence in somersault, and I was speared into the ground, my arms out straight, and they locked back, locked mm. and snapped backwards of the elbows and shattered into about 25 places on each arm. Um, so I was uh, out of action for... Um, uh, the whole of the winter and they thought at one point I was never going to sit on a horse again um, so it's been a bit of a stubborn effort and um, uh, well, quite a surprise to everyone including myself that I've managed to get back here for badminton. And your poor wife Rosie was having a baby wasn't she and you had to deliver it not long after I heard. Well that was the final sort of chapter to it. She was an absolute star. I was in a sort of childlike state of dependency the whole winter and then at the end of it just when I was beginning to get better she went into labour and unfortunately it we didn't have time to get to hospital, the ambulance didn't have time to get to us, and I ended up delivering a little boy on the bathroom floor with just me and her there. Back to the competition. <laughs> um, you're both arriving later on today. What are your chances, do you think? Well, I hope he should go. We could go really well. The dressage scores are all really close. I said earlier, we've got to teach the horses to do all three phases. So now the horses have got to be really brave and really fast. I hope the rain will stay away um, so the ground doesn't get too wet. Um, but my horse could go well. He had a little mistake here last year, so I'm going to have to go for it. And how you did a good dressage test, didn't you? I was trying to think earlier how you would uh, sort of personify an event horse. So you've got you've got the jumping ability of Greg, Greg Rutherford. You can run like Mo Farah and you can do ballet like Darcy Bustle. That is what everyone in this sport needs to be, a really good all-rounder. It's live on the BBC. It's on the red button today and it's live on BBC Two tomorrow. I'm a little worried about Tina's feet. Is she barefoot in the water there, Lizzie? She is barefoot. You are, aren't you, Tina? Yes. Yes, unfortunately. <laughs> Your feet are used to this, aren't they? <laughs> well, I'm not that hardcore. <laughs> very good. Looks lovely down there, Lizzie. Thanks very much. Good weather.